Hello, everyone. This is Sammy for our licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And this is this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of August the 1st, 2024. And I am pre-recording this one. We have switched these over to a live format. It's been a struggle for a lot of moving parts in my household, conflicting schedules and things like that. We're going to get it figured out. But this week's is going to be pre-recorded like we've been doing it for most of the year. So with that being said, let's dive right into the data and let's take a look at our local market in Florence. All right, let's start with median list price. And you can see that the median list price over the last 90 days on average has been $296,526 in Florence, which is about $20,000 less on average than that number has been over the last couple of years. Though significantly higher by about $40,000 than it was in 2021. Interestingly, before the breakout in the um, increase in mortgage rates. But just because the median list price is almost $20,000 on average less in Florence than we were over the last couple of years, do not mistake that to be synonymous with the idea that house prices are coming down. They are in fact going up. Median list price is not how you determine home prices necessarily, but more so price per square foot. This is how much homes are costing. And in this case, we're up almost creeping up towards $10 more on average than we were over the last two years. At this time last year being at $141 a square foot and the previous year in 2022 being $139 per square foot on average, we are currently at $146 per square foot on average. And we are seeing this to be the trend across every market segment in Florence from the bottom to the highest, the bottom segment of our market being impacted the most by the rising home prices. Now, another key metric that we like to look at is the average days on market is still on the decline for 2024 since early February. The beginning of February essentially is when the decline started. And right now, the average days on market for Florence is 76 days across the board. If you want to break that down into segment, the bottom 90 day portion of our market has actually been the outlier in this situation where there's been an increase going back as far as October of last year. But the other three sections of our market, basically everything from $200,000, $225,000 and up is still currently seeing a decline in average days on market, indicating for sellers that yes, the window to sell is still open. I've been saying it for a few weeks now, and perhaps there's some of you guys that are on the fence out there. And I'm telling you that if you don't get off the fence, the window is eventually going to close. And if your goal was to sell in 2024 for the highest yield or return possible, that window is starting to close on you at some point sooner or later. But right now it's held in the open position. Same thing that we talked about over the last couple of weeks. But we are post July 4th and you can expect to see that window start to slowly shut sooner than later. Properties with a price decrease is still on the decline, inching down just below 34%. However, if you look at the last three weeks, there has been an incline in price reductions in our market in Florence. So we'll see if that 90 day average starts to increase over the coming weeks. And it's possible that that is going to be the case if that trend continues for what we've seen over the last two or three weeks. And of course, as you can see, inventory is still climbing with inventory levels. I would say maybe not as high as a lot of people would like them to be, of course, but pretty significantly higher than things were this time last year. And so overall, the bottom line being that the housing market in Florence is performing better than it was this time last year, albeit maybe not as much as some would prefer. Finally, our market action index still indicating that we are in a seller's market, giving the slight advantage to sellers in this market, which is essentially what we're seeing. I mean, um, as long as homes are priced appropriately. Sellers do have the advantage. There's not necessarily a lot of concessions and reductions in price going around on offers. That's in no way to indicate that sellers aren't negotiable. I'm just saying that as a rule for sellers, if a home is priced well, then sellers can expect to get close to what their listing price is and not have to jump through a whole lot of hoops for that to happen. And so all in all, we're pretty much at the status quo that we've been for the last few weeks. Things are pretty much as to be expected in the current conditions of the market and nationally for that matter. 
for this time in the summer. The next dramatic shift that you could expect to see is as we start to move into the fall, probably around October, end of October at the latest. But some of these numbers could start to move away from this favorable place possibly sooner than that. And so what I would say is that if you're a seller, again, if you're on the fence and selling in 2024 is an option for you, but it's an option that you find attractive, it's really time to get a listing agreement signed and get it out on the market. Um, I would not recommend waiting. If the average days on market, let's just say holistically is 76 what we looked at, then that basically puts us at the time period where we know the window will begin to close at the latest could start to close earlier in terms of the marketplace being favorable to you as the seller for your highest uh, potential yield return statistically. And so I would say that you're already looking at an average of that many days on the market could be on the underside, but could be on the over. And you're really, and at this point, each day that you wait, you're minimizing your opportunity statistically. This is just data. These aren't my opinions to bring back the greatest yield for your home. So again, we went the pre-recorded route today. Uh, it made it a little bit easier for me to get this done earlier in the day and get it out to you on time this evening. I hope that you find these helpful. If you do, please give it a like. That helps us out a lot. It lets YouTube know that we're putting out content that is actually valuable and serviceable to the community that we're catering to. And we really do appreciate that. And I look forward to hearing from y'all if you need to discuss anything else related to real estate to a transaction potentially for you in our local housing market. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.